Hey guys, in today's video, I'm very excited to bring you a sneak peek at the upcoming release from Seaforth, and that is Sea Spice Lime. Coming right up. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, John. If you're new to the channel, you've come to the right place if you're looking to learn more about all things wet shaving. So I'm very excited to bring you today's shave as I'll be sharing a sneak peek with you on the third release from the Seaforth brand, and that is Sea Spice Lime. So for those unfamiliar with the current iteration of Seaforth, this is a brand that relaunched back in the fall of 2020. Uh, the owner of Spearhead Shaving actually picked up uh, the rights to be making new products under the Seaforth name. Uh, the first two releases were called uh, Spiced and Heather. And in general, I would characterize those as very classic, uh, old school, masculine scents. And for those wondering, Sea Spice Lime continues that tradition. Let's take a sniff off the tub, actually. I'll show you. So you can see from the tub here, this is unlathered. Uh, while I'll be giving you my first impressions on this scent, uh, this soap base I'm quite familiar with and is quite an excellent soap base. So let's take a sniff off the tub. And that, 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 is a, that is a really beautiful scent. Uh, I obviously sniffed this right as soon as I got it from the mail. So you know, that's not my really my first impressions of the scent off the tub necessarily, but man, it does have that old school vibe, but I would say less so than the previous two. I tend not to like most quote unquote classic scents, ones that are like you know, the pharmacy aftershaves, but I'm a big fan of lime. So I was really excited for this one. Yeah, so lime lovers, you're not gonna be disappointed. There is something old school about it, maybe a little bit of powderiness, but for the most part, it's you know it's lime, it's citrus, it's clean, not overly sweet. But we'll get more into the scent and the scent notes uh, once we get into the shave. But let me show you what else I'll be using today. I almost forgot to show you guys the uh, aftershave toner. This is a non-alcohol splash. Feels really good on the skin, and I have to say, you know, along with the classic labels, uh, you know, the, the design just really matches that Seaforth brand really well. Uh, it's kind of got a milk glass kind of look, so just all around great packaging here. So that's the aftershave toner for Sea Spice Lime. For my razor, it's something else that is a recent acquisition, and that is this uh, gem. Ever Ready 1912 that is either new old stock or pretty much new old stock. Uh, Art Deco handle, just one that I've had my eye on for a while and this one came in box. I showed off this razor and a bunch of other goodies in a recent uh, live mail call. I'll add the link to that video in case you're interested in checking that out afterwards. And for my brush today, I'm using this beauty from Wild West Brushworks and uh, this one's called Lime Freeze. Just going on <laughs> with that green lime theme. Uh, this is outfitted with a 26 millimeter, uh, super high density, finest badger knot. You can see I've been soaking the brush. There's some nice, uh, a little bit of gel, very soft tips, but still great for face lathering. So that's what we're going for today as far as brush goes. If you'd like to help the channel, please like, share, and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. These are all easy ways to support and grow the channel if you're enjoying what you're watching. I'd also like to invite you all to come check out the new Lather Talk Discord server. It's a great place to chat and hang out with your fellow wet shaving enthusiasts. All right, so I'm working with about three days worth of beard growth. If you can see that underneath the pre-lather, I have applied already. And I'll give some more details about this upcoming release as we go into the face lather here. So one thing to mention, uh, I had the pleasure of speaking with Dennis of Seaforth and also of Spearhead Shaving uh, on the Lather Talk podcast. I'll be sure to add a link also above so that you guys can check that out if you're at all curious on how Dennis got things started and how he went about bringing Seaforth, uh, bring the Seaforth name back. So first off, let's go into the official scent notes. And one thing that's really handy is that the set notes of all the Seaforth releases are listed right on the lid. So for Sea Spice Lime, it includes Tahiti Lime, Bergamot, Sea Spray, Coriander, Pink Pepper, and Oak Moss. So really, it's all about that lime, but I do think that Oak Moss 
uh, tends to bring a, some, a little bit of powderiness and that old school vibe that I was talking about before. As far as pricing goes, for a four ounce tub of soap, that is $22 USD. And for the aftershave toner, it is $14 for uh, three ounces of the product. As I'm lathering the soap, the bathroom is being filled with the scent of sea spice slime and it smells wonderful. I would say the scent strength on this is medium, maybe medium light. And while there are a number of notes, it's not, you know, it doesn't come off as overly complex. I would say this is a great one if you uh, wanted an everyday driver, this scent, you can, you can probably use this you know, all day long and it's just enjoyable. It's not too in your face, but I don't know, it, hit, it, hits, a, it hits a sweet spot as far as um, an everyday scent. I'm also reminded that this is a really fun soap to lather. And so even if this thing, <laughs> even if this lathers are already ready, I want to just kind of keep working at it because um, it loads really easily. Uh, it's, it's not overly thirsty, not overly pasty. It, it's, it's just a really creamy lather that's, again, that easy to work with. There's some great soaps out there and I'll say they're tricky to work with. They're either extremely thirsty or they have a very narrow band of, you know, how much water to put in when it reaches that optimal state. This one, I think you can either, you know, if you like a really drippy lather, you can just really drown the soap. All right, so I'm done playing with my lather. We'll get to the shave and let's go in for that first pass with the new gem razor. I'm wondering if you guys can tell, it's been a while since I last used a gem. <laughs> but this is really proving itself to be a very comfortable shaver. The other main gem razor I was using previously was the EverReady Gem Junior. And I think this is actually performing very similarly. Alright, so that was a pretty straightforward first pass. Let's rinse up and go for pass number two. Alright, so you can see I'm lathered up for the second pass. Uh, just to recap the first pass, this soap really is just demonstrating how freaking slick it is. Uh, the razor glided with no problem. I don't know as far as price point goes, it is on the, I guess on the higher side for you know, the artisan shave soaps, but I do really think you're getting the quality there. So you know, $22 for four ounces. Um, if you've never tried it, I know a, a bunch of folks who are kind of curious about it, especially those who like the vintage brands, the vintage look and whatnot. I know there are folks who might be sleeping on Seaforth soaps because at launch time, uh, Phoenix Shaving also had come out with Diver Down and people had, to, you know, felt like they had to choose one. But as someone who has smelled both Diver Down and Seaforth Spiced, they are very different scents. Um, they might be, you know, they're maybe cousins of each other, but there's actually not really any redundancy um, in the scent uh, other than they're kind of in the same, you know, same similar style, uh, but the end product is quite different. That being said, I wasn't the biggest fan of either scent and this uh, Sea Spice Lime is probably my favorite of the releases uh, so far from Seaforth. So if Seaforth has been on your radar, this might be a good one to jump in on. But anyway, let's get into the second pass. All right, excellent second pass. Let's rinse up and finish things up. All right, so the great news is that there is like, there's great efficiency uh, with this 1912 gem. Uh, I actually, I was just feeling it around 
and I don't need a cleanup pass. So we're kind of, we're all set with uh, two passes with this guy. Really, really phenomenal shave, uh, shaver uh, with this razor. One other thing I noticed was some great audio feedback. If you guys like just hearing the cutting of the hairs during your shaves, uh, this thing was singing uh, during the uh, against the grain, you know, across, across slash against the grain passes. Uh, that was very satisfying. And like I said, um, I knew it would be fairly efficient, but this definitely over delivered on the razor's part. Uh, soap, also phenomenal. Can't say enough good things about it. Uh, post shave feel also is very good on uh, the C4 soaps. Right now, it already feels like I've, uh, I have some lotion on my face. So no complaints there. So let's finish things up with the matching aftershave toner here. Again, it is non-alcoholic, but really a really great formula. In general, I've mentioned this before, I've been gravitating towards non-alcohol post shaves. As a, as a fragrance lover, if there's a scent I really like or, or kind of will predict I really like, I will buy a matching alcohol splash. I know, human beings are just walking contradictions, right? Man, such, such a great classic lime scent. It's not a straightforward lime. I'm, I'm not sure I mentioned that before. It's, there's more going on, but lime is certainly the star of the show here. So, I don't know. I know some folks don't really, you know, find much difference between lemon and lime, but I think lime has a little bit more darkness to it. Yeah, so Sea Spice Lime, man, for lime lovers, you know, be on alert. Before I forget to mention it, when does this, you know, when does this set come out? Sea Spice Lime is dropping on Friday, May 14th at noon Eastern time. As far as where you can pick it up, you can go to the main page for Seaforth, which is actually spearheadshaving.com. But also, uh, I think most of your major retailers are gonna carry this one. Uh, West Coast Shaving, The Razor Company, Maggards, etc. Whoever your favorite online retailer is, they'll probably be getting this release. I also wanna hear from you guys. Have you tried any of the Seaforth products? If you have, let me know what your experience has been with them in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions about sea spice lime or anything you saw in this shave, feel free to leave your questions down below. It really is something when you have a very happy shave. It's the morning right now, so I, I feel ready to tackle my day. Um, I hope you guys are ready to tackle your day. I wanna thank you for taking some time out, joining me in my lovely bathroom for this sneak peek at Seaforth Sea Spice Lime. I hope you guys are all doing well, and I'll catch you next time. Take care. Oh,